well do first and rent later this is a USB cable and this is a OTG adapter you don't need to use this model can be anyone you plug it in here then this other side you go to your, to your cell phone this this is a J5 prime and then you open an app called Medibang Paint. I think it wasn't showing. You go to this bottom left edge button here and you go settings and then you pen pressure on and show cursor. And as you grab your, your pen, don't know if you can see. Ah, now here it is. So how, as you can see, the cursor is showing up. This is Android 9, by the way, and I want to talk a little about drawing with a smartphone because we are living in a transition period where all these things that relies on mobility can offer uh, something very nice to, for us to do because there's so, so less time compared to the early years, like the early 2000s or the early 90s, and everything is so so rush it now and having this possibility of drawing on a smartphone on the go using your pen tablet pen tablet that you know it's mobile really mobile uh, it's can can be a lot of help can can draw whatever you go it isn't something larger if you got a pen tablet on the medium size or the larger size maybe you can consider whatever you want to carry or not but if you're doing with dealing with a, a small pen tablet, it is something that you can uh, possibly do, even if you're doing with a, a, a larger one, you know. And if you like to use other apps, because there are so many apps to, um, today, not not only for PC but for smartphones and iOS as well. iOS relies more on drawing directly on the screen and smartphones on with the Android system they usually don't recognize the pen pressure if you got a pen you can try to push it and then you know pull up and you you enable a, a very small but so hard it's almost no pressure I think there's two or maybe three levels but other things that you can do if you don't want to use an app that like this MedBang it's free by the way you can download on the Google Apps you can enable some systems I'll try to I don't know if it is the right way to show but we'll talk about it eventually but before we continue the first thing you need to ask yourself if you're looking for drawing or you want to draw on your smartphone is do you really need a, a new smartphone a new pen tablet because this is, as you can see, I'm drawing, it's connected here. It is a Wacom Bamboo for 2007, early 2000s, mid 2000s. And it works, doesn't work on my, my cell phone, my J5, normal J5, but it works on my mom's cell phone. Let's thank you, mom. But now you're gonna, you're gonna do the other things you need to, you can do. If you do not want to use a, a specific app, you go to your settings and you go to accessibility. There's this option about uh, interaction and you turn on, it's on settings, accessibility, and then dexterity and interaction. Then you go to the assistant menu and you turn on the, if you got all the options a button for all the options but if you don't it's like an assistant plus it will enable a small square that you, when you click you can see there's an option for a cursor and as you go you will enable some kind of mouse if you hit with the pen tablet here on the correspondent place like this let, let me see if i can do it see it's moving the cursor but unfortunately I, I couldn't draw using this so another thing that you can do you can try because we never know we can 
can work for you. Doesn't work for me here, but can work for you. You enable the development mode. It has a this brackets around here. And when you turn on the development mode, you go to you go to input and you turn on these two options: show pointer. And when you do this, you will be able to see a pointer. So if you open an app like Ibis, well, the image is inverted. Oh, it's okay. You will be able to see where the pointer is. So as long as you don't move it, you'll be able to do continue a, a line. It's not the best way to do it, but it kind of works. But I think if you really want to use apps like this, the best thing you can do is wait because I believe eventually technology will reach the point where you will be able to use it in every web. Every app is going to have this, this option of enable a cursor, right? So until the next time, take care.